Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at the examples for exercise 11.7. Changing interest rates, deposits and withdrawals. And uh, exercise 11.6 on page 380. The examples for this exercise is on page 381. In this exercise, okay, so that's your heading for today. In the exercises up to this point, in the chapter we have dealt with problems where the interest rate changed, and in the last exercise you worked on problems with several deposits and withdrawals. In the next exercise, which is 11.6, we will combine these two concepts and look at financial mathematics problems with several deposits or withdrawals as well as changing interest rates. A timeline is very helpful in solving the problems of the sky. We look at the first example. The first example is on page 381. So you have told the savings account is open with a deposit of 4,000 rand. So we know it's bulky, it's a lot of information, so we're going to do a timeline. So you go T0. 4,000 rand is deposited. And four years later, a second deposit of 6,300. So where does that take you? T4. T4. Plus or minus? Plus. Plus Y plus? Yes. Deposit. 6,300 there. The interest for the first three years Okay, so it is for the first three years. So T3, the interest for the first three years is 12% per annum, compounded annually. The interest increased to 13.5% per annum, compounded monthly. Calculate the total accumulated funds in the savings account at the end of seven years. All right. So, people, there's many ways of doing this. Okay, I can divide here. What I can do is I can take 4,000 Rand at an interest factor of 1 plus 0, 0,1 to the exponent 3. And then we take that answer. And then we run the interest factor for one year. So that answer into 1 plus 0, 0,135 over 12 to the exponent 12 times 1. That answer you get from there, you add 6,302. becomes your new principle. And then you run again that interest factor of 1 plus 0, 0,135 over 12 to the exponent 3, three years. That's one way of doing it. Okay? But I'm going to do all in one. Alright, so what do I do? I write down my formula first. So A total is equal to P into 1 plus I to the exponent. It's a compound formula we need to use. Not so? So A total is equal to 4000 N. So we're going to take 4000 N. Can I take it all the way to the end? No, I must take it to T3. Why must it go to T3? Change the interest rate. Not so? So it's going to be 1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 1 to the exponent 3 times 1, which is 3. You all agree with that? Then what do we do? We take that to the N, which is into 1 plus 0, 135 over 12 to the exponent 12 times. Four years. Four plus three is seven, as you can see. All right. Then what happens now, people? A deposit is made. So it's going to be plus six thousand three hundred. Can I take it all the way to the end? Yes. Yes. 
Can we into? 1 plus 0, 135 over 12 to the exponent 12 times? 3 years. Okay. So let's go. 4,000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 to the exponent 3 into 1 plus 0 0.135 over 12 to the exponent 48. You all agree with that? Otherwise you can write 12 times 4. Plus 6,300 into 1 plus 0 0.135 over 12 to the exponent 12 times 3. You have to it in 36. Give you an answer of 19,000. Please check if that's correct. You know, I'm feeling good about myself. 19,038 rand. 71 cents. 71 cents. People say, any confusion there? Huh? No, easy, no? Then again, all oh, maths is easy. Everything in maths is easy. So with that, you should be able to do exercise 11.6, the odd numbers, and page 382 for the homework. Okay. We're going to go into the, the homework of yesterday. We're going to mark those odd numbers. Okay.